The field of candidates is growing now for Congress. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Eric Franke. Candidates rushing to make announcements today following Tammy Baldwin's announcement yesterday that she is running for Senate. News 3's Jess Garp looks at how it's shaping up to be a Democratic primary with some familiar faces, Jess. Well, that's right. Baldwin's announcement is triggering a domino effect of Democrats, candidates jumping to advance their careers and move up the political ladder. We can actually make you honest with this amendment. We will raise our voices. We will protest. We will be peaceful. Shame, shame, shame. They've been fighting the same fight for months. This is an exciting day for me, uh, the beginning of a new journey. Today I'm really excited to announce that I'm running for Congress. Now they'll be fighting against each other in a Democratic primary for the second congressional district. I think primaries are an election among friends. And uh, both Kelda and if John gets in are, are good friends. Uh, and we'll have a good positive primary, I'm sure of that. Mark Pocan, a veteran of the State Assembly since 1998, will face Kelda Helen Royce, who is serving her second term in the State House. I think we'll have a very spirited race. Um, certainly, uh, I think there are going to be a lot of good candidates, and that's, that's wonderful for the voters. This budget, much like the legislation we've dealt with in this chamber, is based on fear and paranoia. The two could also face State based Senator John Erpenbach, who is still considering a bid. It's one of these things, with all due respect to Mark and Kelda, anybody, I think, who's looking to get into a situation like this, you don't necessarily take a look at who else is running. You take a look at, at what you want to do. Uh, what issues you want to work on and how effective you could be. Good luck, good luck. So while the race continues to shape up, state lawmakers will shift their focus federally. I'm excited to stand up to Paul Ryan and call out Michelle Bachman and John Boehner and these Tea Partiers who would rather crash our economy than see President Obama win a second term. Scott Walker brazenly and foolishly didn't understand what, was he, in, what he was in for when he thought he could ignore us. That's a lesson too many in Washington need to learn. And I hope you'll send me to Washington to help teach them that. John Erpenbach, who was reached in Washington at meetings, said today that he will make an announcement in the coming days or early next week. So far, the only declared candidates for the district, though, are on the Democratic side. No Republicans have yet to step forward, but that certainly could happen in the coming weeks. Could be an interesting year and a half or so. It right, really Jess. will be. <laughs> Thank you very much.